Situated in Ordsall, Salford lies one of the oldest buildings in the area, Ordsall Hall. Dating back to the 1360s, it's the ancestral home of the Radcliffe family who lived there for 13 generations from 1360 to 1660. When the last Edgerton of Tatton Hall died, Salford Council bought the hall in 1969 along with the estate lands of the area, turning it into a heritage site and it was from here that the hauntings of the hall were developed. Well, it's not a case of see them. Um, they don't appear at will. You just have to be looking around the hall, enjoying it as a visitor, and sometimes just something odd will happen. Mm. Like you'll get a very strong scent of roses and lavender, or you feel something brush past you, maybe a um, pinch at the bottom, got Sir John Radcliffe. <laughs> and just sort of things that happen, like we've had, I've had experiences in this very room. You'll hear an almighty bang You'll put your head in expecting to find a beam on the floor and there's nothing. Stories point to the ghost of a young girl called Cecily who appears when the smell of roses and lavender fill the air. Sir John's ghost is widely reputed to haunt the Star Chamber and a white lady said to be that of Lady Margaret Radcliffe also haunts the chamber. Well, the white lady is Mistress Margaret Radcliffe. She is one of the uh, daughters of the hall, born here 1573, one of twins. So she's one of the ones that... She's the main ghost of the hall. It's the most famous one as well. She died in 1599 due to the fact that her brother, her twin brother Alexander, had died in battle. She'd also lost a younger brother the year before in a similar battle and also apparently she was very attracted to Lord Cobham and he spurned her advances. So poor thing was going under a lot of emotional strain and a lot of her twin brother just finished her off. She. So is this one of the most haunted places in Manchester? I would say you are never on your own at Audsall Hall, ever. This is Abby White at Audsall Hall reporting for Keys News.